Hey guys, what's up? So this is Mohan. Um, yep, I'm back with the with a different video, just the opposite of the old video I have uploaded so far. You can watch it. Um, the old video was about how to defend yourself from hackers or how to, you know, how to check your computer for has a hacker or virus. Yep. So today my video is going to be the opposite of it. Today we will learn the basics of hacking. Yep. I will teach you how to hack. Well. The hack. I'll teach you the basics. Yes, the basics. We're not gonna go pro. We're not gonna go professional. We're not gonna learn how to, you know, how to look into a database. We're not gonna learn how to hack a database or put a server down. Nope. You will learn just, you know, basics like, um, for example, you have a password on a website. You wanna get it? Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna learn that. Cool, right? Yep. So first, start. Look, I'm not professional on hacking. But I'm gonna tell you, yes, I have done so many hacks hacking before. I have hacked uh, servers, websites, I have hacked databases. Yep, I know all that, I can do it. But again, I'm a professional, so yep. Okay, um, if you, who you are watching the video now, if you have what, I mean, if you have hacked any website before, if you have hacked any password before, please just leave right now, because this video is not going to be for you. This video is for people who don't know nothing about hacking. All right, so let's start off. All right. Um, sorry. Before I go, excuse me today, cause I'm sick, so it's not my best day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's start off by opening either Google Chrome or Firefox. There is no, you know, there is no difference between both of them, cause they both will allow us to do it. Open. I prefer Chrome, cause it's faster. So open it up. Open it up. If you have Firefox, that's fine. Keep it on it. Keep it on it. Let it load. <coughs> Not bad. Ah oh, man, it's like going slow. Chrome. I didn't even start it. My bad. Okay, it's not starting. Hello, Chrome. Okay, just ignore it. Let's open Firefox. Firefox. Okay. Sorry, Firefox. Okay. So, type on hackertest.net. I believe that's the website. Yes, sir. That's the website. So, again, we're not going to do something illegal. We do everything illegal. This website is just to sharpen your hacking skills. It's legal to hack this website because they made this website for you just to practice hacking. So if our first level is level one, of course. This website, this website I believe has 20 or more more levels. I'm not quite sure about it, but yeah, that's level, level one. Now what we need to do is hack the password and log in. So when let's see, uh, just open Notepad just in case we need to take a note of something. Open Notepad. Okay, yeah, all right, so we are required to find the password, uh, hit login so it can log. Let's see the error that we get when we just type in login, just type whatever, uh, test, whatever, whatever, login, gives you an error, says try again, message pops up saying try again. Okay, so if you're using any of any different now webs, any different web browser than Firefox or Chrome, please go back to one of them. Because you need to view the page source, okay? Again, you need to view the page source. Oh, let me show you something. So what does now when we write uh, test and login? You know what happened? What we see is uh, the thing that we see now is just giving you an error. But let's see what's happening. What's going on? Dib, okay? Let's open the paint. I'm just going to draw something really quick. So okay, so. This is uh, I'm um, the worst drawer, so fine. <laughs> All right, so this is the website name. Right, this is the website. You type in your password. You type password. Password. Don't do that. I'm just going to show you something. Okay, you don't have to draw this. Okay, password, and you have. Uh, let's see what uh, the server. The server. Server. I'm not sure if that's right. I'm doing it or not, but yeah. So 
ah, it's too far. Anyway, so when you lock, when you type the password, when you type the password and you press login, there are problem. There are okay. So there are uh, information will be sent to the server or to the base database holder, which they code it. They write the code, and let's let demonstrate saying it by if uh, let's call this. Let's call well, let's call it textbox one textbox one. Okay, so we say if textbox one dot text equal test, then go to level two. So how that done is by code. Now we need to view this code to see this password. So no worries about this paint, whatever I'm stuck at it. Okay, so now we need to view the page source. Right click view page source. Okay, so okay, maximize it. This is our page source. Aha, uh -huh, so many codes. What do you have to do now? Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're looking for a password, right? So looking for a password. Go back to your source code page. Press C T R L F from your keyboard. Or if you are using Mac, press C. Let me see. Command Command F, I believe. Yes, Command F. And something pop up here. Let's type password. Looking for the password. Right. Ah, for that. Okay. Uh, we need. We don't need this password. We need a function password to keep typing password. Password. Okay. Here. That's our function here. See, says says function password. So I'm not going to teach you coding because that's going to be way too much. You can look on. Uh, I believe. Google, YouTube, they'll teach you a lot. That was in, written in Java, JavaScript. You can look for JavaScript tutorials. You, you find plenty, plenty, plenty of JavaScript tutorials. Um, trust me. Trust me. You find plenty. So I'm not going to teach you coding. I'll teach you the basics, maybe, while I'm going on. So function password, we're saying the password. We call this password variable. Password. Okay. That's the code. Let's see. Huh. We don't need to, know, to worry about this. Just need to worry about everything inside this inside this parentheses, okay? So that's the end. This is start. We have to worry about these, okay? So this sentence we're saying if giving it you know if then equal this and again if this is that okay then keep going down. Oh ha! Uh, try again. Says try again. Let's see. There's that's not the right, right thing. Let's try whatever login. Okay, the message we got the error message is try again. Again, go control F. Type try again. Here. There should be before it else. Just hit this and this is document. So function check. So variable a equal n u l l. We have called the password a, which is the value of a, the value of password is a new ll. If the password is a new ll, then function check, check if it's true. If it was true, if the, if the when when it checks, if it was true, then move to this to this part or to this whatever, to this URL, and at at the end add this variable, which this variable will be the new ll. Okay. Else, if it wasn't a new ll, if it was anything else. Then show message says try again. So now we know that the variable is a, and check if it was a should go on. Let's check it out. And u l l. And congratulation, I guess. Let's type again. Okay, yeah. Congratulation, you have passed into level three two. Okay, so level two. Oh, let's look at it. What's this one? Let me get. Level two has no password. Then we need to find a link that passed to level two. Before we do that, whenever you get something like that, just highlight everything, because sometimes you know password is under it. Yeah, so just highlight it. Okay, view view page source, same thing. View page source. Hmm. Okay, here. Pass. All right. Control F. Password. Because pass, okay. So please, 
pass equal property place enter password let's see when when you refresh it says refresh now refresh prompt it you know this message box called prompt so called prompt it. i don't know how you pronounce it my bad i'm not you know my mother language is not english so yeah prompt please enter password so message box comes out says please enter password if we're using the if again if pass is 131 then move to this URL else something else happens else you know go back to whatever it is okay so password should be 131 131 okay uh-huh that's right let's see okay do you know something um open notepad write one write L they're not the same here on JavaScript you know one and L they are almost the same. Well, not almost. They are definitely the same. So you can't tell the difference between this and L and 1. You can't tell this is 1 or L. So just copy it. You know, highlight. You know, of course, you know how to like. Highlight, highlight. Copy. Paste it on your notepad. Okay, so this is an L. This is not a 1. If it was a 1, it should show like that. Okay? So let's type L3L as a password. Refresh. L3L. Hit OK. Yep, congrats, you have passed to level 3. Uh, whatever that here, okay? Congrats, you have passed to level 3. Watch. Now I'm going to stop the video because I think it passed 10 minutes. Yes, it did. Past 10 minutes. I'll just make sure to make all vi my videos 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So it'll be easy for people to load it. One, you know, one hard, one be hard. And uh, all my videos will be. 720 you know high quality 720 okay so yeah stay tuned we'll come back next video